good morning gorgeous ones um i think it's about quarter past eight i hope you all had a wonderful sleep happy healthy and well um i'm just reaching over to grab my coffee for the morning and, I've, and look it's vaguely matching how cute is this little top hey it's a uh, it's not it's not wool but it feels like wool it's a little hoodie but not an hoodie a hoodie but look at these rainbow things so you know one of my um i guess things that i tried to incorporate into my identity starting last year was color because color is fun and i'm i'm fun um but i used to wear all black and do you know why i used to wear all black because it was slimming and it was really i heard <laughs> a statement sleeve jody that's hilarious yes i have a statement sleeve but did you all hear that? Did you all used to do that? You'd wear black because it's slimming. And I never realized how the idea of wearing black because it's slimming also is this idea that you're kind of invisible, that you don't want to stand out, that you don't want to be noticed. And I find that with so many women these days is they're, they're a bit afraid of being noticed. They're, and they're a bit afraid of... Uh, being I guess commented on and I think that part of that is yes Jodes wore black all the time part of that is this shame that comes with being in a bigger body or being you know dare I say it fat now the thing is there's two things going on here right one it's no one's business what your body looks like it is absolutely no one's business and it is bullshit this commenting and judgment that goes on and on and on and you all know that and you all know that I'm obsessed with that because I see women, fantastic, fabulous, accomplished women shrinking because they're ashamed of their body. And they're ashamed of their body because our society makes them ashamed. They didn't grow up being ashamed, but people shamed them and that causes them to be ashamed. So you can imagine like and again, I'm just going to use an example and I absolutely know nothing about Japanese culture. I've just invented this. But we do know that, you know, they're sumo wrestler. They're big dudes, right? And in Japan, they were, are revered. Do you think they're ashamed? Absolutely not. Do you think Rubenesque women in the Rubenesque times were ashamed? Absolutely not. They were lauded and revered for their curvaceous bodies, but not us. No, if we're not perfect, then we're, you know, fat, ugly cows. And so we wear black to hide away. Now, the thing that this can translate to is when people do then comment on your appearance, people go, oh my God, and they don't quite know what to do. And I see this a lot when people lose weight. And so they start, yes, Lisa Marie, your mum, about your bum, yes, my bum. <laughs> So Lisa Marie's written a comment that her mum inadvertently made her feel ashamed of her bum because of making fun. Me too. Me too. In my family, I was big bum. And I remember vividly walking to the beach one day when I was in my early 20s um, from my house that I was living in and walking along and this group of boys yelling out, fat ass. And I looked around and realized there was no one else around but me. So clearly, and in my head, I'm going, oh my God, my bum is so big that they can see it miles away from their car. And I've got this image of sort of like this giant sun, i.e. my bum. And they then felt inclined to comment on it. And again, that's garbage. But what happens, right, is that sometimes when people are losing weight, people do start to notice and they start to comment. And that can be really triggering for some people. So... For some people, and, and for multiple reasons. So one reason is that, first of all, they've all comments in the past about their body have been derogatory. People are now commenting and it's like, oh, I don't know quite what to do with this. And it feels uncomfortable. And so for some people, like seriously, that can be one of the reasons they then their subconscious brain goes, you're not safe. People are talking about you now. Get back under behind your black clothes and just shrink away. Yes, Jodie's written now that she's wearing colour and she was always loved colour but hid, hid behind her black. So that's one thing that happens. The second thing that happens is that when people start commenting on, you know, how 
well you look, how great you look, and it's like, right, well clearly you thought I was ugly before. That's what our brain says. It's not what they're thinking, but that's what our brain will say. So again, really, really important to be aware of this because these are barriers to stopping you change. Okay, we get fear of being noticed. It's so interesting, isn't it? Because I bet you, lots of you have never thought of that as a, as a concept, but I see it all the time. Fear of attention, fear of being in the spotlight. And what it actually is, it's just discomfort. Because in your past, being in the spotlight was usually somebody having a go or having a dig. So, Melissa's written, I would find it hard to take a compliment before and then you then the comment ran off, sorry darling. But what I would do, I would encourage you, if anyone does, now look, again, in my head, I'm a tiny bit conflicted because honestly, people shouldn't be making comments on other people's appearance, but it's human nature and we can't control what other people do. So to expect that no one's ever gonna comment on anybody ever again is actually just not practical. They're always going to do it. But if they comment in a positive manner, take the comment it is a gift they are giving it to you it might be your clothes your hair even if it is oh my god you've lost weight you look really well just go i am well thank you or if they go you look really good you can change that into i'm really healthy okay because that's what we're trying to create here we're not talking about losing weight because you're not good enough the way you are we're not talking about losing weight because you will be valued by society more as an ornament than your absolute worthwhile self. We're talking about, you know, losing some weight to help with your health. You know, we're obsessed with that. So you can turn any comment you want into, thank you, I feel so much better now. Or thank you, I'm feeling so much more healthy. Good morning, Fee. So, health and what that does every time you say thank you i'm feeling healthy or thank you my health has improved you are reaffirming to yourself your new identity and that identity is that of someone who is healthy okay not skinny not thin healthy okay because when we're healthy when that becomes part of our identity it makes all of our decisions easier we make decisions based on our identity, not based on external stuff. All right, lovelies, that's me, done for the rant. Um, thank you, Fee, I'm glad you love this. I, I rarely buy black clothes now. I have, <laughs> it's ridiculous. You look in my wardrobe and there's like half a black stuff that I hardly ever wear. And then I've got this riot of color. And now even when I do black stuff, I make sure there's some colored accessories somewhere. And half the time I'm only wearing the black stuff because that's all I've got to wear. We had to go to a cocktail. I had a cocktail, it was cocktail food. Cocktail food, sorry Marie, I'm looking at your, con at your comments that are saying that food doesn't control you, you've got food freedom, absolutely. No longer obsessed by food. I've got a, top, you know, I've got a thing that in my memory that I'm gonna write down that I'll talk about tomorrow about that. But I had to, we had a cocktail event on um, Saturday night at the Lipedema conference. And I'm looking going, oh, I don't wear, I don't have any cocktail clothes anymore. And I have to wear runners um, because of my orthotics my, and my uh, foot drop and all that sort of stuff. So anyway, I found a top that, that I bought when I was about 21. So that would make it 30 years old. It's from Garfunkel and it was this sort of layered chiffon number and I remember buying it as my fat outfit. This is what I wear when I feel fat. It's ridiculous because clearly back when I was 21, when I thought I was fat, I was actually not fat. It's another reason our brain tricks us. Anyway, I wore this and you've probably seen some photos. I had this big chunky necklace on, a billion comments on it. Everyone commenting on my necklace, no one noticing my black top, which is fine because really it's invisible. But uh, I will have to consider future outfits for cocktail wear will need to have colour in them. All right, beautiful darlings, have a wonderful, wonderful day. Uh, I will see you tonight for cooking and we'll go from there. Bye darlings.